What's up everyone, welcome back to Prodas Cheese Trigger Master. In the last episode we hit 5k MMR, which is a massive milestone, but I think we are not done yet by a long shot. I think we can get 5.5k and after improving in PvP, I think we might even be able to get higher. Let's begin. All right, the first game of the day is against Year of a Horse, the my random player with Snoot's Portrait. All right, well that is quite a wild ride for the first opponent of the day. Now, you guys know, it is always pretty complicated to play against random players for me, especially when I'm playing a cheesy challenge, because I need to execute my cheese fast, and how am I supposed to do that when I don't know my opponent's race? Now, there's one benefit here, and it's that I, I think more than any other Protoss player in the world, really likes to wall on the low ground in every matchup. Like, even if I play against Terran, Zerg, Protoss, doesn't matter, I really like walling on the low ground. So at least, you know, I can do that in every single matchup, and I'll just scout really fast. I don't really want to scout this early. I guess if we play against Zerg or Protoss, no, Zerg or Terran, the early scout is going to be good for me anyway. If we play against Protoss, then it's going to suck a little bit, but it is what it is. I mean, two out of three, that's a pretty good shot, I would say. Now, let's see. I, I, I guess I can't really make plans yet. I guess I'll just ask you guys how you are. Are you guys having a good day? I need to know what his race is first before I can make plans, so I might as well ask. Ah, uh, we are playing against a Protoss player, so we did hit that one third of a chance. That's unfortunate. Now... There are definitely mind games that are going to come into play here, as usual. Like, keep in mind, it's, it's pretty similar to the last episode. We got a bunch of PvPs. Here's kind of unlucky that we get another Protoss, because it would be fun to play, uh, you know, another race when we actually do play against random. But uh, we do have some mind games in play, most notably, you know, walling on the low ground while actually not trying to expand whatsoever because I'm being cheesy. I think so far, last game, or last episode rather, we did one Robo Cheese which was just a one base robo all in, basically three gateways, I believe, and a robo. And then we had one Oracle cheese where I, that was probably the weirdest build that I did, uh, where I went for Oracle into one base four gate blink all in. Now I'm gonna hide a pylon and I don't even know if I'm gonna use it yet. Like it, it's, it's really all gonna depend on the mind games. Like I would like to perfect my robo play even more. And this is pretty cool for me because the, the robo builds are something I wanted to practice because that's actually a, a, a good way to play PvP, I think. I mean, maybe not at the highest level, but if, you know, a little bit of room for outplays and stuff, I actually think it's very cool uh, to go for those outplays. I'm going to delay my robo slightly. Uh, it's just, just going to be a little bit here. I'll make the robo there now. Opponent's going to go for the double chrono. He does have a second pylon up here as well. And I don't think it's all looking too suspicious. I'm going to make a pylon here, mostly for the Oracle. He now sees the robo. Uh, oh, he's actually going to go for Stalkers. Oh, okay, so that means I'm going to have to make my own Stalkers now. Um, I don't really want to make my own Stalkers, though. That's the thing. I, I would prefer to just make more Adepts. Okay, so he's... Oh. I was trying to get a scout off there. Okay, let's see. Is he going to keep chasing me? Seems like it. So I'll do one chrono boost on the warp gate. I guess it's possible that he has one stalker and one adept, but I think I've literally never seen anyone do this. So that would be uh, quite weird to say the least. Now, I should have walled this a little bit better because now it's actually a horrible wall because I can't block it with one, uh, one pylon, you know? Like, that is not very well done by me. Uh, if he would go for stalkers into adepts i think that would be a very cool move like actually that would be uh, incredibly well done by him i want to say i'm gonna chrono boost that once i'll make another pylon out here i guess i don't really need to use these yet this is gonna be scary if he attacks me with uh four stalkers because my adepts are out here and i that's actually gonna be, yeah i probably should have thought about that a little more so here we go the prism is on the way I'm going to shade these adepts into the natural. This is mostly a scouting squad more than anything else. Let's see if there's like a battery here or something. Doesn't appear to be anything here. Okay. Hmm. I I, I find it all a little bit scary, guys. Not going to lie. I find this all a little bit scary. I'm going to make a second pylon over here because I'm absolutely terrified. And then I guess I'll just try to drop in the back of his base. Okay, so he scouts my three-gate robo, which I think he already saw, to be honest. So I don't think that's really a, a new development here. Um... I'm, I'm trying to think about what I should do next because this is a crazy situation. My opponent's not even, you know, trying to expand, it seems like. It seems like he's just going on on one base. Okay, let's see. I got a couple probes here already. He's going to go for Phoenixes. Okay. That is really interesting. I mean, I guess I'm going to lose the Prism. But do I mind? I mean, he's losing a lot of stuff for this, right? Let's see. Oh, my God. He's actually going to lose everything here. Oh, his stalkers are not home. I don't know what he did with his stalkers, but they're not there. Now I can shade these out even. There we go. Let's see, he's going to try to kill a bunch of these. Okay, wait, now he's trying to expand. I, I do have to say, this is 
a very scary build to go up against. This is kind of the, what, what he's doing. I feel like it's very similar to how I would play PvP. Like, I would grow for, like, crazy... Uh, thought it cancelled. Oh, the, the shade or something? Wait, did he... I'm not even sure what he's, what he's talking about, actually. Because I dropped him into his base with the Adept. Or did he, like, shade his Adepts on accident? I'm actually not quite sure what he's talking about. Uh, now I even forgot what I was talking about. Oh, you know, I remember. Like, what he's doing is very similar to how I would play PvP. Like, I would love to go uh, for Phoenixes. Oh, I can actually kill these. Here we go. Oh, they, that, that's, that's horrible for him. I'm going to warp in Stalkers now. And we have obliterated him with the Adept drop once again. Now, I, I, this was a confusing end, mostly because of what he said. I'm not quite sure what he was talking about. Uh, he had the Adepts in the main. Let's see, how many workers did he have left? I killed 10 workers with the Adept drop. Guys, this Adept drop is just so freaking good. Like, every single time we get them, look at the supply. He's going for an expansion. He's playing a pretty normal build. I want to say that Phoenix is even good against the Robo because you can just simply lift the Immortals and the Sentries, right? I mean, two Phoenix lifting two Immortals hugely shifts the, you know, the battle into his favor. But it's 39 against 53 supply just because of the Adept drop. And I feel like this happens every single time. Like, the Adept drop is, is just the best cheese we have done so far. Just the four Adept drop rush. I mean, I know we're not at the highest MMR ever, but we are in Grandmaster territory, which is very accurate for my protos, but it works every time. This is an amazing move for now. Fantastic warm-up. Let's go to game number two. All right, second game of the day is against a Terran player. All right, let's see. Play against Kaizen. Don't think I've seen that name before, actually. Well, similar to Gear of Horstum. Also, I haven't seen that name before, I think. Oops, a little bit of a misclick there. Now, I am obviously going to send a probe instantly. You know, guys, I saw a suggestion the other day. And I think that suggestion was correct. And the suggestion was... Uh, or, well, it wasn't really a suggestion. It was more of, you know, the, the, the person noticed something and it said... I haven't, I'm surprised to not have seen you do proxy nexus in this challenge because you are quite proficient with it. And I mean, I guess that's true. So maybe this is the perfect time to go for a proxy nexus against our Terran over here. And the reason why I think it's okay against Terran, uh, because we're quite Hamamar, right? Like I want to climb more and more, but I actually legitimately think it's pretty good against Terran. Like the three adepts, I feel like it's, it's incredibly strong every single time. Now, oh wait, are we getting cheesed ourselves here? What's going on here? Oh, this looks like a big cheese. Okay, so it's a gas first without a wall. That is very interesting. I guess I'll just attack that then. Gonna make a gas. I don't really need to focus on gas that much. Okay, this is weird. Have you ever played gas first and had your gas SCV harassed like the first one? This is probably very new to him. So we are getting cheesed most likely. Uh, I guess it's possible that he's building it close to his base. It could be a fake proxy as well. But I want to say most likely it's a cheese. Um... And do I, do I really need to respond to it that much? I mean, I'm going to chrono adepts like crazy. Let me just confirm. Okay, so if it's a fake proxy, it's already a little bit further away. I guess that means that uh, I don't have to worry that much at least. Okay, so it's getting an orbital now. Dude, I really wonder what we're playing against. Like, I feel like this is some really crazy cheese. Like, oh, wait, maybe it could be... Okay, so recently... I'm going to build a little closer. Recently, I've seen increased popularity in... Two racks Marauder proxies. But I don't watch pro games carefully enough to know if that is from gas first. But judging by the fact that he has nothing here, it's only one gas, it's a late orbital, I really wouldn't be surprised. So I think I might be a little crazier. Notice how I saved every single Chrono Boost, by the way. Like, I really am going for it. Uh, but I'm going to make Adepts anyway. I feel like I really should be going for Stalkers here, but I guess we'll see. Let's see if it's... A yeah, okay, exactly what I thought. Right, so it's going to be the Turax Marauder. I'm going to go for the second uh, gateway. I am still going to Chrono Boost the Depths just because I'm insane. Like, please, guys, if there's like a Protoss player watching this... I know there are. <laughs> Please do not make adepts against this. Okay, just make stalkers. It's way better. Let's see, where's the second barracks? Second barracks is there. Yeah, this is going to be a really tough one to hold with. Um, yeah, mo ma pretty much just the depths, really. It's, it's really going to be a tough one. Here we go. I think I'm just going to keep making batteries. Keep in mind, guys, it's it's a way different game because I do not have an expansion, right? That's the thing. I do not have an expansion here, so I can afford a bunch of extra batteries. Um, at the same, Well, actually, it doesn't, make, it doesn't make that much sense. What I should say is, you know, I can hide in my main base instead of having to go down. God, this is going to be a game and a half. Oh, my goodness. I am very curious to see how this is going to go. All right, here we go, guys. 
I'm gonna pull these. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? This is so absurd. I mean, I do have a lot of batteries. I have three of them into his main base right now. I need to have a couple mining, I think, at least. I need to get this one star. Let me heal this one up. Okay, here we go. So in main base, is gonna die entirely. I don't think this is necessarily a good situation for us, but I, I am really, really curious to see how this is gonna go. Okay, so I have this one. Let me try to kill that one Marauder. That'd be really nice. I I think I was pro I'm probably a little bit too insane for this, guys, because it's just been... Okay, let's see. I need to overcharge that instantly. Okay, we got one. That's very nice. Here we go. I'm going to overcharge this battery. Yeah, so it dies a little slower. Oh, it's not going to die slow enough, guys. I think we are probably going to lose this game. Ah, oh, no, okay. I mean, this one is just on me. I knew I was being absolutely insane, and I kind of owned it, but it is sadly not going to happen for us. We have three attempts to get seven runners, and that's going to be it. <laughs> All right, guys. I have peaked. I have just become the ultimate silly goose. Not just a little bit. I have become the ultimate silly goose. Okay, this one... You guys know I like to be crazy. This one was a little much. I've seen Protoss players struggle to defend this without recalling three adepts to the other side of the map, but yet I still wanted to do it. Uh, and sadly, it didn't work this time. I do have to say... I'm not sure I could have defended this with the three adept style, even if I didn't recall. Like, I would have had to make stalkers and sentries instantly. I think with the three adepts, maybe I wouldn't hold anyway, so that's good to know for the future, because adepts just don't really do enough damage against these. Marauders have long range, they slow them all the time, so I would have had to make stalkers. I mean, obviously the recall didn't make it any better. Well, I did kill, like, every single SCV that he had there, or at least he's not mining anymore, right? Like, I guess it's an even game, right? Zero mining. No, but next time I'll make stalkers for now. It's fun to be a silly goose sometimes. Let's get serious and Go to game number three. Right, game number three is against a Protoss player once again. Armor. Oh, we did take a, quite a bit of a beating from that last game. I think we probably lost about 50 MMR there. So that's kind of tough for our grind, but it's okay. Sometimes you just have to embrace your inner silly goose and just go with it. You know, like that one. What can I say, guys? It was just, you know, <laughs> I just felt it. Okay. I just had to do it. All right. Should I, ex uh, you know what? I'm going to expand on the high or while on the high ground for once. I keep saying expand. I feel like. I, sh I should probably clarify that a little bit more because it sounds weird. But yeah, I'm going to start walling on the high ground. I think I might go for the same strategy, might go for a Stargate. I'm not quite sure yet. You know you know what the thing is, guys? I would like to do some some more like fake proxies and like feints and later cheese and stuff. But the thing is, if I do a later cheese, I will probably just die to my opponent doing a normal cheese. Because PvP is also a very common matchup to cheese in, similar to ZvZ. So... I don't know. I feel like... like Okay, I'll tell you guys what I want to do. I think I might have mentioned that build a little bit in my last Protoss video. But a build I had in mind was... I go for a 2-gate. I just expand normally, but I fake proxy pylon like here or so. Right? Like in my third base. Then I expand, but I don't make any probes. Instead, I make a robo and 2-gates at the fake proxy. And then I, I go ahead and kill the guy, right? So basically what I'm doing is I'm pretending I'm cheesing. Then at some point they scout the expansion. They realize they've been mind gamed. But then I still cheese them and kill them with the all-in. But the thing is, if my opponent would just go for like a straight up all-in, then, then I would just die. And I, I have obviously in this series, I have no intention of just sitting back and defending their all-in, right? Like that's not, that's not what I want to be doing here. So uh, that is kind of the problem. Okay, so I'm going to make one pylon over here. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try a similar strategy, but I'll just try to do it on the high ground. My opponent hasn't scouted at all, actually, which is a little suspicious, I have to say. I guess I can keep this probe around. That's something I often forget for PvP. Like in PvP, you can keep the probe around forever. Like it doesn't even, you know, like the, the he's not gonna make two zealots from this, and even if he did, he's not gonna be able to kill my thing. So it doesn't really matter, right? Okay, so I'm gonna make the robo first. Here we go. Robo start warp gate instantly. I think this is probably... I know it looks a little bit, little bit weird to skip the Adepts to do that. But I think this is probably the right way to do it. Because the Warp Gate is more important. Like, the Adepts are going to finish anyway. Like, I think what I need to do is I need to Chrono Boost my Warp Gate once. And then my Warp Prism once. That, that sounds about right. Or maybe save it for the Immortal or something. Um, I think both of those sound fine. I'm going to hide the probe here for a little bit. I do need to move out with my adepts to get a scout. Um, and ideally, yeah, I think I'm just, I'm just going to put it here already. I'll put a probe here so I can do like a um, reactionary wall off if he comes with adepts. This is a very important move. One of the most important moves you can do in like entire Protoss games. Like you, you must do this all the time. You must have a probe ready to wall it off or you could just lose the game instantly. And that's... You know, obviously pretty unpleasant. <laughs> so, right, I'm going to make the third gateway now. There we go. 
That's why you always want to make sure you also have 100 minerals. That, that's the hardest part. I feel like I always, uh, you know, I always want to spend my stuff. Like right now, I want to make it immortal after this warp prism, right? I'm going to chrono it, and then I want to make it immortal. But if it would shade in at that time, I would not have enough minerals. That's the thing. I don't think I'm going to full wall my base. I, th I think it makes sense to just like wall it like instantly. Or may maybe I don't want to do it yet. I'll make a pylon there. Like, in I, I don't really want to bring the prism back if I don't have to. Oh my goodness, what is that? Okay, well, that is... <laughs> that is absolutely insane. What the hell? You guys saw that? What the hell was that? Oh my goodness, that is actual insanity. Okay, here we go. Guess I'm warping two sentries. He's going back, which is really good for me, by the way. Here we go. Now I got a nice wall off here. He's going to target the prism. Well, it doesn't matter that much. We at least get a pretty good fight over here. The immortal is going to finish, and that's going to take care of two of those stalkers, I think. There we go. Now, that was absolutely crazy. Like, the timing on those stalkers just walking up. Like, oh my god, that was... That was freaking brutal. I need another pilot. I wanted to warp in two adepts, but I'm not going to have the money in time. Let's see, walk, walk up again. I know you want to. Just just, just come on. Not like I'll force with you or anything, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy, you know? I, 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 I will go easy on you. Just walk up the ramp. Let's see, in before he has his own sentry and he walls me out. I'm going to shade these. I, I feel like it's what, what he's doing looks like a four gate to me. So, oh, actually, I thought I already had a pylon there. Oh, oops. Well, then it didn't even matter that I didn't have the money. For, for some reason, I was convinced I had a pylon there. Um, what am I going to drop now, though? I guess I'll still make a pylon over there. And then maybe I'll give it a quick check. I mean, if he's home, it doesn't really matter. We're going to get scouted. What? Okay, well, this guy is I, I kind of crazy with it, though. He's scouting everything perfectly on time. Not a huge fan of this, I'll be honest. This pylon, obviously, I'm just going to cancel. Uh, no point in, you know, letting that live. And then I'll move out across the map. I think if I was him, I would... I feel like I would do something a little desperate. So I don't think I would go for a robo myself. I think I would go for either a ro uh, not a robo. Uh, a Stargate for Phoenixes, Twilight for Blink, or Twilight for DTs. I, th I think that makes the most sense. Okay, shading in Adeptin. That is going to die because not paying attention to it. That's quite nice, I have to say. I'm going to shade those already. So I buy some time. And then I'm going to move across the map. Okay, let's see what I can find. I'm, I'm a little nervous here. Okay, so he's gonna... Ooh, he's actually going for a counter all in. Okay. Do I want to make a... I'm not sure if I do, actually. No, I think I'm going to make two sentries instead. Uh, here we go. Okay, I'm just going to walk into the base. And then I'll just try to force field him forever. That's the plan. He could have blink already. Or did he... Re oh, he recalled, actually. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty insane. Okay, let's see. Yeah, he's going to go for it. And then I'm going to have the force field. Okay, this is, this is really good. Yeah, he used both of his lifts already. Super nice. Okay. I'm going to be able to kill one of those. I'm going to lift that one back. Let's kill that one. I do have the sentry in my main base now. That is not ideal. Okay, there we go. I'm going to warp some more stuff. He's going to go... Okay, he's going to go for the prism, and that's going to cost him so many stalkers. There we go. Can I save this one? Barely, I think. Oh my goodness, he's going to sacrifice another stalker for it. And then I think I'll just make more of these at home. Going to make sure I kill that. My army is not massive, and he's going to have another lift soon. So I think I want to dip from this. Yeah, the, the, the incoming lift is scaring me the most. There we go. Yep, I'll force field that, and then I'll start warping here again. So he did indeed go for the phoenix. Um... Do I need to do anything else here at this moment? I kind of feel like I should expand, if anything, uh, to bait him out. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't have to wait. I was kind of thinking... Oh, no, why you're still here? I have so many freaking sentries, by the way. I was kind of thinking maybe I should wait for the pile on the finish to go for the warping, but uh, I don't I don't think I should, probably. There we go. Then I'm going to make another warp prism. But yeah, the, ph the phoenixes are absolutely terrifying. Like, they, they really are. Okay, let's see. Is he going to go for it? He, he, I, his stalkers are right there. Like, I can just feel them. I know his stalkers are chasing me right there. So I'm going to go for some preemptive force field. Here we go. Okay. I mean, maybe I can take down this phoenix. That'd be very nice. Wait, can I... For oh, that, would, that was so close. I almost had the force field there. Okay, so I have an expansion. I could take it easy, but I don't really like taking it easy. So, okay, let's see. How much does he have? Oh, going to get a couple stalkers. Yeah, that's massive. There we go. Two stalkers going down once again. He might go for a counterattack on my base here. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I like that move by him. I also wouldn't be surprised if he's going to try to wait on top of that ramp to go for the uh, the lifts. Okay, let's see. I, I'm, re I'm really trying to bait him as well. I feel like we're trying to bait each other super hard. So I have my expansion. I mean, I'm still going to go for a killer all in. Actually, I wouldn't mind going for a glaive here. I feel like glaive would make for a very good like follow-up all in timing attack, you know? I'm going to go for an illusionation scout. Let's see, I actually do two illusionation scouts. Just to make sure there's nothing in the corners of the map. 
Um, I think it's probably smart to do. So there's an adept over there. I can go ahead and kill that adept, I think. Here we go. He was probably going to try to see if I had a natural. I don't think he's seen it yet, actually. So that's uh, quite nice for me to take that down. Because now he still does it, no? Yeah, he's feeding. He's doing a really good job scouting the corners of the map. I have a base. I, I don't think he has a base. Or maybe it just finished. I, I'm not planning on making that many more workers anyway. Let's see. Okay, so now... Yeah, he literally just transferred his workers. Okay, so I was on point with that. G good to know that at least my instincts are decent. Now, this is going to be a scary moment. Because like I said... I am not planning to play a macro gamer, right? I'm going for the all-in. And, I mean, he has phoenixes against my robos, guys. So that's very, very terrifying. He has enough phoenixes to kill my sentries if he wanted to. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to shade in with everything. Uh, oh, he's actually making a cannon. That's very interesting. Okay, here we go. Probably going to have to target a battery or something. I'm not quite sure. So he's going to lift all of the immortals. The, the adept's not really doing any damage so far. Okay, and he's going to put them back down. I mean, he doesn't have enough DPS to kill that. This looks very funny, by the way. Like, the immortals are all lifted, but he's lifting them with all of his phoenixes. So there's no DPS to kill the immortals very fast. I still have the immortals alive. I haven't even started glaives yet, but I'm going to start it now. I guess I can also just shade it to the main base. He didn't have energy for a battery overcharge, I believe, which is uh, really nice for us. I'm just going to leave a force field there. There we go. Oh, he has one oracle. That's actually a pretty cool move. I didn't really think about it. But with this bad boy, uh, I can start warping in some stalkers, which could be very nice. There we go. And we keep in mind, I do have that luck. Wait, was I the one that was lucky? Wait, hold, hold on a second, guys. You guys remember me putting four adepts in my prison, flying out, and literally four stalkers coming out of the darkness as if he has an all-seeing eye targeting my prison? Followed by him scouting my proxy pylon. Literally the instant I put it down. I'm not even sure where I was lucky here. Like, I, I genuinely don't know. I feel like I was very unlucky in this game. But I still made it happen with some good outplays. Adept's getting into the main. The good push. Falling back on time with the force and stuff. But anyway, I think this was a fantastic game. But here we go, guys. A PvP dub has been achieved. We lost the game to the Terran because we were a silly goose. All in all, still a successful episode. We go two on one. And I do feel like our PvP is getting stronger and stronger. And I like that because I usually don't play Protoss because I hate PvP. So the fact that we're getting better at this whole cheesy stuff with one base robos is very, very cool. Anyways, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to get a video like if you did. Uh, what else was there? Subscribe to the channel. God, I'm a little bit lost today. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.